What's up my Mitch mates? My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and a lovely welcome to the channel. Today is an exciting topic as we will be talking about an antidepressant that has been shown to reduce the progression of COVID-19. That sounds odd, right? An antidepressant that fights a viral infection. Hmm, yeah, I don't know about this one, Mitch, but uh, let's take a look and see. I actually did a video on this topic a few months ago, but I wanted to add a few things and rearrange some stuff with the fact that this study that we're gonna be talking about today has now actually been published in The Lancet. And for those of you who may or may not know, The Lancet is one of the most popular peer-reviewed medical journals in the entire world. So this antidepressant fluvoxamine has definitely been shown to work for COVID patients in the outpatient or the non-hospitalized settings. Why does it do this? How does it do this? And what are some of the side effects that you need to look out for? These are all questions we will be answering. So sit back, grab your popcorn, kick your feet up, and let's dive in. So what exactly is fluvoxamine? Fluvoxamine is a cheap antidepressant that was first FDA approved in 1994. This medication is similar to other antidepressants that you may have heard of, such as Zoloft, Paxil, and Lexapro. Again, the question that comes up is how exactly does an antidepressant fight off a viral infection? Well, it has to do with the mechanism that this medication has in the way it interacts with COVID. COVID-19 attaches to human cells via its infamous spike protein. When COVID-19 invades a human cell, it essentially places a lot of stress on that cell. This causes the cell to freak out and create inflammatory factors in order to reduce this stress, if you will. This massive surge of inflammatory factors that every cell releases as it's being infected with COVID is believed to cause hospitalization and ultimately death from COVID-19. What fluvoxamine does is it stimulates a specific receptor on the mitochondria or the powerhouse of the cell for those of you remember from good old high school biology days and it causes a decrease in the overall production of these inflammatory factors the fewer inflammatory factors that are released by each cell infected with covid 19 the less likely you are to be severely sick from covid ultimately leading to a lower likelihood of hospitalization as well as death this remains true for even the omicron variant today so what's the data that we have about fluvoxamine and its effect with COVID. So way back from a small study at the end of 2020, fluvoxamine was shown to significantly reduce the overall worsening symptoms of individuals who had COVID-19, again, in that outpatient or non-hospitalized setting. The newest study published in The Lancet on January 1st, 2022, had this following conclusion. Taking fluvoxamine 100 milligrams twice a day among high-risk outpatients with early diagnosed COVID-19 reduces the need for hospitalization. Now you may be asking, what does it mean to be high risk for worsening COVID-19 outcomes? This is any individual with an underlying medical comorbidity. And I did a video explaining what medical comorbidities are. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put it here in the top corner as well as in the description below. This is basically any individual with an underlying medical condition such as heart problems, kidney problems, or lung problems, just to name a few. This study looking at fluvoxamine was actually held in conjunction with other medications, studying the same effect of reducing the overall symptoms of COVID-19 in the outpatient setting. Two other medications that you may have heard of that were also in this study were ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine. And I only bring those two medications up because they've obviously been extremely famous throughout the pandemic over the last two and a half years or so. And also highlighting the fact that fluvoxamine actually outperformed both of these medications in this trial. It was found in this trial that a 10 day course of fluvoxamine actually reduced the likelihood of an individual in the outpatient setting needing to be admitted to the hospital by 30%. This means that if you take fluvoxamine for 10 days, you have a 30% reduced chance of actually having or needing to be admitted to the hospital. It was also found that those who took fluvoxamine for the full 10 day course were actually 90% less likely to die from COVID. Also breaking the information down a little bit further into a couple of subgroups, it appeared to work the same for individuals less than the age of 50, as well as those individuals older than the age of 50. This is really good news because fluvoxamine is not only widely available, 
but it's also really cheap with a 10 day course costing you about $4. It provides efficacy against worsening COVID-19 symptoms. And it's something that you can get your hands on possibly the same day that you see a clinician. Of course, like every medication, there are side effects to look out for. Some of these side effects include upset stomach, sleeping problems, as well as some sexual side effects such as decreased libido. But these side effects are not as common and very unlikely to actually manifest themselves for only being on this medication 10 days. I think fluvoxamine would be a plausible option to try if you do fall into this category. I've said this a thousand times by now, but as always, before you start anything or put anything into your body, please consult your local healthcare provider. As always, my Mitch mates, thank you so much for sticking with me through to the end of this video. I hope your popcorn was delicious as always. And Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say, I will see you all on the next one. This is really promising and good news because fluvoxamine is not only wildly available, wildly, wildly available. <laughs> it's getting rowdy, it's getting crazy. Fluvoxamine's rowdy, fluvoxamine's crazy. Um, anyway.